Hey, I am the Midnight Raven and today I want to talk to you about the hashtag I am a creator channel that used to be a big thing on YouTube but has slightly died out although people are still clutching at straws to be part of the I am a creator community um, and trying to use it more for their own benefit than the benefit of the actual community. Now, the community started two years ago by James Cox. It was a wonderful community. There were wonderful channels. Content was being churned out left, right and centre. It did lead to a lot of sub for sub. Not because of the actual I'm a creator channel by James Cox. More that the people's mentality was to then do their own channels along the similar lines. But more as a sub for sub channel. And basically use people from the sub sub community um, for their own gain. It was more come to James's Cox's channel, put your name in the chat, steal all their subscribers and take them back to your own channel, which obviously is wrong. Um, the community died out after James Cox, unfortunately, took a step back from it after gaining employment, which I can wholeheartedly understand it was a good community there were a lot of good channels james himself was churning out videos and content on a daily basis sometimes for five six seven eight hours a day um with little to nothing to show for it due to youtube favoring bigger channels popularity competition if you want to call it that and the little channels were left by the wayside and when james cox came along he decided that little channels had as much content and as much worth as a big channel. You just had to give them a chance, which is what hashtag I'm a creative was giving people. It was giving people a chance to make a community, make content, share ideas and be part of something bigger than YouTube. Become a community within a community that actually supported each other and it wasn't for personal gain. Everyone wants subscribers and everyone wants to be monetized, but there was more to it. There were channels that did arts and crafts, there were channels that did makeup, there was gaming channels, there was a whole variety of communities that were bigger um, in their little communities that were then brought into this bigger one so you could share your content across the board to other different communities that maybe didn't know about certain stuff. There were channels like Watching a Fish Tank, I would have never even thought of doing that, but apparently it's a thing. Playing with your cats was another channel. Um, my channel is a kind of variety channel. I do this, that and the other. But if no one knew you, they got to learn by being in this community and just checking out your channel for as little as a minute and watching your stuff and finding that the person behind the channel is a real person. We're not robots. We make content because we want to. The money is a bonus. Don't get me wrong. Being monetized would be a bonus. But I love making content aside from that. So I wanted to tell you some of the channels I met during Hashtag I'm a Creator that are really good friends and have growing channels. People like Angel Munez is now monetized. And hats off to him. He has an awesome channel. Friendly person. Gemma Autism Grace, I believe her channel is called now, is an autistic YouTuber and a great friend of mine and has been since the hashtag I'm a creator um, community started. You had the Coffee Club, which was part of the hashtag I'm a creator, which featured Janet Pickering um, and the whole people that I met um, while I went to Birmingham and I actually met some of these people from the hashtag I'm a creator community that were part of a coffee club that I was a part of that then we joined the hashtag, hashtag I'm a creator and we all met up in Birmingham it was amazing um, other channels like Studio Geek were amazing uh, Rant Jams was once a part of the community Slippery Fish was obviously part of the community who I haven't heard a lot from recently um, the Fish Sandwich Show, can you remember his channel? Um, who else did we have? Marcel Harding and his art channel. Watching him paint fruit. I can't paint. <laughs> the Corn Life Network used to have a channel. The Family Show of Four. Um, Angel, 
Angel Domingue. Angel Domingue. Um, she has an awesome channel as well. I don't watch a lot of hers. Um, it's more American and religious themed, but her channel has grown since being in the community. Um, um, who else? Uh, God the Good One was also part of that. Um, Wounded Moose used to have a channel. Remy Moore used to have a channel. There was so much good content out there. And the only way at that point to bring these little communities together to share ideas and that was through the hashtag I'm a creator. Um, it did get some negativity, which you're always going to get from being a part of something. Um, but there was the negativeness that it was a sub for sub group, um, that James Cox was doing it for himself, um, that he had 10k subscribers but nobody else did. In fairness, he put all the work in. He did the hours, he did the streams, he brought everybody together and to be fair, to grow your channel, you have to put your own work in. It doesn't happen overnight. No one's going to say if you put hashtag I'm a creator in your title, everyone's going to come to your channel and watch. The content you put out is what makes your channel. The community is a support network. It's someone to talk to. It's someone to share ideas with. You can promote your content, but you can't make somebody want your content. You have to be engaging and informative. You have to have a personality that they're going to want to watch. So... Yes, the hashtag I'm a creator would seem like it's a sub for sub. People did go there and people were subbing each other and it was portrayed as a sub for sub group. I don't dispute that. But the actual core of the actual group was the support and growth through a methodical, proper way by chatting to people, watching their streams, joining the community, sharing ideas, collaborating with each other. And actually working to grow each other's channel in the actual proper way. Not just sub for sub. Oh, I've got you, you've got me kind of stuff. Which I had plenty of. Believe me. Um, I'm sure some of my subscribers came from that group. And they've never watched my channel ever. Um, I'm on the way to 2k at the minute. But does that bother me? No. Because dead subs drop off. And the real subs keep on your channel. So there's always that. So the hashtag I'm a creator community has not died out. We are still out there in our own way with our own channels. You technically can't kill a community if the people that are in it are still making channels. Um, it's a community that is still thriving. And I miss everybody from the community that no longer has a channel or have had to take time out from making videos or no longer make videos. Um, it's been a rough couple of years. The hashtag I'm a creator came out um, at, the, at the pinnacle of the ad apocalypse. And it really did help smaller channels believe that there was a chance for them. No matter how small your channel was, at that point in time, there was a chance of making something, of being monetized and creating the channel by using um, YouTube technically to its own advantage. Avoiding the bigger groups, making your own little community, sharing ideas and being productive without doing sub for sub. I've never wanted to do sub for sub ever. It was always a thing that I hated and people just assuming because you're in a small community and you're liking each channel and watching means you're sub for subbing. No. If you check my channel in two years or three years that I've had my channel, I haven't grown more than 2k. If I was sub for sub and I would have been right up there with everybody else, um, like the big YouTubers and would have worked my way up. But I'm not interested in growing in that kind of way. I want to grow my channel with people I talk to, people I, I enjoy watching, and the same vice versa. So this is a shout out to James Cox who made hashtag I'm a creator, what it is, and that it's still going. It's in each of the people that was in the community at the time, and that I miss every single one of them that have made a channel that are still going. You're not alone. We are still out there. And James Cox um, wherever he may be um, currently working 
Hashtag a creator is still going, even though the channel itself has slightly come to a standstill. But the community will live on in each of us. So if you were part of the hashtag I'm a creator community, comment down below your memories of being in the group, the money magnet song and all the songs he did to make hashtag I'm a creator more fun. And then it was less sub for sub and more about just having fun and making content. If you want to see more from me, I am the Midnight Raven. Don't sub to me just for the sake of it. Sub to me because you like my content. And I will see you all for a video very soon. Remember, hashtag I'm a creator is in each of us. It's not just a sub for sub group. It's in the content that you make. And I will see you very soon for another video. Take care and thanks for watching. Love you all. Bye.